What's going on guys, Victor here, and today I am with Bite the Bait Fishing. I got Julian right there, and Chris. What's up? And we are all lit up on some caffeine, and we are in, whoa, almost just fell, but we are in the beautiful Everglades. We are in Everglades National Park, and neither of us, well not any of us, have actually ever fished here and done it really on our own, have yeah, we? I've really, never been here at all. Chris has been here, what, once? Well, once, dude, but once I wasn't before. driving, I wasn't doing any of that yeah. stuff. So. so we're all Googans here. Yeah, we're, we're completely new to this fishery, but it is beautiful. We're gonna try to get in on some snooks, some reds, trout. I don't really know what to expect, but we're going on an adventure and we're taking you guys with us. So make sure you stick around. And if you guys don't hear back from us and don't see this video in about a week, make sure to call the Coast Guard because we probably got lost. Because we have no idea where we are. And I feel like this is the type of place where you could definitely get lost out here. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a good day. So, get lost or you get stuck. Get stuck, run aground. I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, I have been waiting on this spool of line forever now. And then this is Bullbuster fluorocarbon. And this stuff is the truth, guys. I'm telling you, it is the best priced fluorocarbon. It is the stiffest fluorocarbon I have found so far. So I'm putting on some 20 pound now, 20 pound on now, tied to an FG knot, and probably gonna start out throwing some soft plastics. We are looking around. Chris is at the wheel, Julian's rigging up. And we're just looking around because we have no idea where to go. We don't know whether we want to fish near the mangrove islands, try to find a flat, try to find an oyster bed. We're Keep in mind, we're completely clueless besides whatever fishing knowledge we have, but we've never fished this area. So we, uh, we're we like Christopher Columbus, I guess you could say, for like the Everglades. We're discovering some new lands. Exploring, exploring. Exploring, exploring. Seeking adventure. So if you guys see, if you look right out past me, it looks like it drops off right here and there's a flat. But beyond that, it looks like the edge of the world. It looks so sick. I wish you guys were out here and I actually got to see it. But it is just slick, 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 like no wind. And it's just, it's what is probably like two or three inches of water. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. You could definitely not, you could not run your boat over there. It's right there. Oh, you see a bunch of grass right here. So we're running up on some grass flats right here. I know why we're not catching anything. I'll show you. Monster time? Yep. Listen. You don't start catching fish until you open a beer or a monster. Oh, right I'll there. I'll take a beer. Okay. okay. I'm saving that monster. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> nice and cold? The Miami special. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> when it's hot, bro. Gotta take Corona. Well, cheers. cheers. Cheers, brother. Caffeine and beer. Amen, <laughs> brother. Let's do it. Two Caffeine, opposite effects. Beer and fishing. This is spot number three. We just pulled up to this channel, Mark, and we still have not caught anything. The but deepest water we can find is not too Yeah. Big. The deepest water we've been in all day is three feet so far. Fish of the First day on fish a on the day. live shrimp. Oh, oh man. Ah, <laughs> not the kind of fish we want oh, to be getting on this. Oh. Chris is it really? Up on the first sea trout of the day. Yeah, we might have to switch up to some. Dude, I'm casting right on top of you then. <laughs> Stop the momentum right here. Yeah, boy. Not too shabby. Okay. No, not too shabby at all. See, that's what I like to see. Like oh man, you got slammed. Yeah, you get on the front. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let me get underneath you. Dude. Dude. I now I know you you that, that's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, that might be a giant one. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Here we no, go, he's guys. Not on the surface. We're shallow. Oh, yeah. We got what you got a red? Down, guys. I'm gonna horse them in here. It's a jack. Is it? Just my luck. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a freaking catfish. catfish Dude. It's a giant catfish. That was a hard hitting catfish. <laughs> catfish. You know, in the Amazon, they, they cast like a thousand times. Oh, like, yeah. Every one fish they catch. Well, there's just so much water there. The same thing here. Artificials, man. It's the only way to do it. Dude, getting used to casting with this thing. It's funny, I can cast a big conventional far as shit. Oh, got bit? I don't know. I think it was just grass. Jeez. There you go. Dude, that was one of your hook sets right there. There you go, brother. Nice, dude. Good hook set right there. Oh. Got Victor on right here. I don't know. I'm I'm fish, I'm thinking Jack because it hasn't bouncing. surfaced yet. It's bouncing, right? Yeah. Jack. Jack. 
Yak, yak, yak. A little better than It'd be pretty one. cool to see one get sharked. Right? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Dude. Yeah. Then we would definitely fish for for them. Well, there's all oh, kinds of, well, you were saying it earlier, there's all kinds of sharks out here, right? Oh, yeah, there's got to be. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, I've heard a lot about bull sharks being in here. What'd I tell you? I saw that dude, I was like, that's a dangerous cast. I got it out. No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. No. Yep. We stop. Oh no, that's a fish. There we go. Snook. It is a I snook. It, brother. What the heck? So I think I did get hit and I think he took me into the branches at first. That's what happened. So, I knew they were gonna be in this nice place. little snook. Ooh, yeah. Good one. Finally. Yeah, guys, Look at how first snook. That's Actually, nice I'm very him. surprised. Look at how pale he is for being this deep in the backcountry. Should be a lot darker. And look at how um, his stripe is. It, it's not a black even. Yeah, it's pretty light. It's like gray. It's a good one. Very nice. It's small. First snook of the it's day. Better than catching catfish, that's for sure. Oh yeah. yeah, I'd much rather catch this than a catfish all day long. I'm, yeah. At least we're. It gives us confidence to know that what we're doing is gonna be, you know. Another snook. Is it really? Yep. No way, baby. I gotta change the GoPro angle. Sick. We got Chris hooked on a redfish. Nice redfish, baby. Damn, you do. Badass, man. Oh, we've never caught a red like that, boys. Bring it over. Is that on a live shrimp? Yep. That's a good one right there. Live shrimp on a jig head. Chris oh, got a, a nice tail? red right there. You're not that, huh? Not out. Gotta lip them. That or swing them in. Chris just hooked up on nice, a real man. Nice Good job. Nice, bro. Look how blue his tail is, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that beautiful. Beautiful flat thread right there here in the mangrove. Sweet. Want to get a picture of this real quick? Yeah. Oh, I'll get it on your I'll GoPro. I'll get you on my GoPro, dude. Was that at that tree or this tree right here? Oh, right in the middle. Right where you caught the snuff, bro. There you go. No, that's the tree. But I don't know how because that was right at the edge again. Nice, got it out. Okay, you probably bent your hook out. No. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, okay. you think that means no trolling motors? Yeah, I mean, there's no motors on dude. I mean, no one's gonna tell us anything, but. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. anchor up right here, bro. Oh, I'm on. You're on? Yeah. Nice, dude. Another Small. Way. Oh, oh it's a snapper. Okay, That's there we go. There go. Mangrove snappers in the s in well, yeah, mangrove snapper. No, is it? Yeah, it's a mangrove. Mangroves in the mangroves. You do not, this is one snapper species you do not want to stick your hand in because they are ruthless. They chomp down. It is not like a yellowtail. Snagged again. There we go. We got it back out. Jig head's completely straightened, but. <laughs> We got it out. You get in the back, yeah. You could strain those back out. Believe it or not, those are the same ones. That this I... one's pretty bad though. Look at it. it. Yeah, Ooh, that's like completely yeah, straight. Yeah. That one's not salvageable. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it back. Dude, that fucking not strong shit. <laughs> the hooks keep straightening every time. Every single time that I've broken off, the FG knot is holding, and it's just the hook that keeps popping off, which goes to show you the strength of this knot. It is good. It is very good. Hauling, or because since it's, you're fishing so deep, there's a lot of like undertoes, so the current will be ripping to the stern, and then it's legit. <laughs> Suffix braid sucks. This is like my seventh wind knot today. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Do not buy suffix braid. Here's a product review. Live action on the water. Do not buy suffix braid. 
Now I'm gonna have a lawsuit. I'm gonna get an email from Suffolk Spray. Don't worry, Suffolk, you can send me free line. <laughs> no, bro. I just want the I'm not. I've never used that one though. I'm not gonna that. lie though. Like the first, maybe like six times I fished it, it was good. And then the last three trips, it's just every single cast is a wind knot, garbage. Really? Yeah, but you see all the dude there. There right? we go. There go. Oh, I think it's a lady oh, up. or a trout. No, are we? No, I got a fish. I know that it's not a catfish. I'll tell you that. What we got? What we got? What we got, guys? I got a lizard fish, got a man. Fish. We oh, are fish. too good. Oh my god. We're picking up the garbage, man. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, right? Someone's got to do it. Check out this one, guys. This is a lizard fish, and he's got a gnarly set of teeth on him. If I could get his mouth to open, check that out. Uh, <laughs> so nasty dude they Whoa. they sit in the sand too they're perfectly camouflaged they sit in the sand and then they'll just yeah, come up and munch something yeah. disgusting they, it, they hit a huge plug then so oh, there we go Trash can pig. slam well we are off two hours of sleep drove <laughs> almost two hours lizard, to catch a lizard fish guys we're trying oh, gotta keep playing. you know what another thing i think if you ever wanted to make a trip here again Definitely got to hit it on high tide because we could honestly probably fish this entire island at high tide. Dude, this shit was like straight word to Yeah. This shit was not even, this was straight land. Or yeah, earlier in the day, we could not have been where we are right now. Oh, it was like, not, yeah. it was, it was dry land. You're going to see the tides when... Oh, and not to mention we're real close to a full moon. So the tides are even more extreme. Please Please there we go. He's running <laughs> on, guys. Right, running, running right at me. What a little snapper. Little snapper? Oh, yeah. Is he? Yeah, it is a little mangrove. Little mangrove Isn't that funny we we're talking about it? <laughs> well, well, maybe that's the... Fish. That's <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's for damn fish. Earlier, what, two hours ago, it was too shallow to be here. So that means this guy, there's no way that he was here because he would have no water to swim in. That means he freaking traveled from wherever the hell he was and came up here. It goes to show you even stuff like snapper. You don't think of things like snapper moving in and out of areas, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah man. It's just funny. Can you think of snapper migrating? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Ooh. I've been known to skip a few, uh, uh oh. Damn, you know what? That was, yeah, you know, I think it was, hi, huh, I wonder if that was a fish, because I got like instantly cut, and that's not, that's not a knot feeler. Barracuda. They might have reacted to the splash. You, you see that? Yeah. Instant cut. Yep, that might have been a barracuda. Yeah, I thought I was snagged, but I guess not. Yeah, probably a little kuda sitting in there. Yeah, man. Taking this thing off. It's gonna yeah, immediately get. Off, dude, it was oh. like, feel better now, huh? Oh, <laughs> if... that shit is like annoying, man. <laughs> you guys have no idea how good it feels to take the Guggen bra off. It is feels amazing. I feel like a new man. They're the ones with money. Little kids. Oh, I saw that. Dude, that was the hook set of doom. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you were gonna whack is me in the face. Lobster? Yo, I am a beast, bro. I can't believe I just you a caught a crab? a crab, dude. No way. Yo, guys, bite the bait fishing no first. Dude, you guys way. know I am the hook set master on this boat. Bro. Look at that. I don't even want to like touch that. Elastic. I'll touch him, but. Look at the armor on the top of that. Dude, that thing is crazy looking. Look at that. Guys. No way. Come on, guys. Thumbs up for the hook set. <laughs> That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick, right? I honestly thought you were reeling in a, like Dude, a little I branch. Bite and I just went wham! <laughs> <laughs> Get over here! Well, we got an interesting variety of species today. <laughs> That is pretty cool. I do want to touch them. I'm just. I want to take a picture of them, dude. Yeah, I want to kind of hold them and get a That's cool your picture. thumbnail right there. Yeah, catching an alien in the. Do you want me? So I'm pretty sure that that is a. Uh, what was it? What did I say? Spider crab? Spider crab. Is Spider easy. or arrowhead or something. Down, they're actually pretty slow. You yeah. can you can grab them just like that. Dude, they barely hooked. Yeah, their claws are not. I'm like look look at them. I'm holding them right there. Yeah, you got them. Yeah, I got them. You can hold them. They're really slow moving. But check them out. And you can see how the only other one I've ever seen was in a marina and they were really red. But this guy is all um, muddy. All so muddy, he's all brown. He's dirty. Or he's all gray. That's a sick picture right there, man. Holding him up like that. He's lining some. We're catching everything today. <laughs> For real. We're picking him off the bottom. There you go, bud. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't put water in your water cup, comment below. 
living life on the wild side. <laughs> yeah, I got the root beer in there. You Julian, got a land Chris. shark. This is a burrito. We got burritos. Right here. <laughs> Look at that this. burrito, son. Jeez. Oh. As you guys can see, we are not in the Everglades anymore. Yeah. And by the way, just to clarify, we were not in like the Everglades where it's freshwater and you bass fish. We were in the Everglades where it dumps out into, I guess you would call it Florida Bay, and that's where uh, that's where we caught all the snook and the red and the trout. And we talked to some guides there, and they actually said that it was a really slow day and a slow year over there. So I don't know. We, I mean, we we technically caught a slam. Between the three of us, we did get a trout, a snook, and a red, and it was our first time. I mean, it's something I would definitely like to do again in the future. I mean, just being out there, it was just serene. You know, there's no boats around you. It was a really cool fishery. And I think we definitely got to invest some time in it and, and probably got to hit it on high tide because a lot of those areas we were not able to fish unless it was high tide. But other than that, this is Julian. This is Bite the Bait Fishing. What's up, guys? So I want you guys to say hello. And um, if you guys want to check out his channel, he is out of Miami and I mean, I had a good time with him, so I plan on fishing with him in the future. Hopefully, if he uh, gives me a call back, maybe he thinks I'm crazy, <laughs> but... <laughs> so, um, look forward to more videos with him, and make sure to check him out. He's going to be in the description box below. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys on that next video, alright?